Yes. Lovely stuff. Um, well, welcome everyone to this meeting of the Halfland Town Council Planning Committee being held on Tuesday, the 30th of August. Um, I will go straight into the bulk of the agenda. Any apologies for us? Yes, we have two apologies um, one from Councillor Raisley Farmer and the other from Councillor Harry Teal. Okay. We might have to accept those apologies while in favour. Yes, yeah, so uh, Councillor Farmer is away on holiday and Councillor Hill had an unexpected um, a, a meeting he had to attend today that he was not aware of. Um, lovely stuff. Um, any declarations of interest from Councillor? Can't see any. As ever, if you spot one during the course of the agenda, please do yell and um, we will take it at the appropriate moment. Um, item three minutes of the meeting of the planning committee held on the 9th of August. Um, are we happy to take those as a true record? I'm sorry, I think the chair have a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, we'll do that before the vote. Yeah, that's absolutely fine, Councillor Bartlett. Um, yes, Chair, um, a couple of things. Um, number three. Um, actually, on the wording of 58, could you agree the process set on Appendix A? Um, Subject to updating the present two agreed changes. I think to make this a proper record of what was discussed, in all fairness to participants and public, minutes, we ought to specify what those agreed changes were. Um, or better still, to attach the appendix, appendix A as, as altered. And appendix A was all about um, the new calling procedure, which we and discuss. Um, and there were two material amendments, and I think we need to let, record what they were. That was the first point. Thank you, Councillor Bosworth. Can we take okay, that yeah, that's absolutely fine. So um, there's the option for me to, to potentially include the um, the call-in table that essentially was Appendix A as part of the minutes from this particular meeting, so that they are out there in the public domain. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think that covers it off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah. Okay. I'll um, attach to these in yes, Jim, will we be able to see a copy of that? Yes. Yes, what's that? What, the, uh, the, the, the table? The, the amended table? Yes, of course, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've, so it will be attached to the next? It will be attached to yeah. these, yeah, to the minutes from this meeting. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I have my own copy. The reason I said is it was about a discussion. Yeah. There were two people here today who weren't there for the discussion. And this is the process and how we determine whether to do a call in or not. Which so it may be worth taking a moment to the computer. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yes, yes, of course. I mean I I can display it on the screen yeah, if, you, if you wish. Yeah. Um was there a second point you want to make answer what? Uh yep the uh, because that discussion actually came first, we took things out of the uh before we looked at planning applications and actually applied that discussion of some of the planning applications, it seems to me it would be better if the minutes actually reflected the actual order, not simply followed the order of the agenda which we started from. Yeah, any objection to that? No, not at all. Um, yeah, not at all. Right, okay, so as displayed up on the screen, I mean, whether or not it's going to be overly clear for you to be able to see, um, it's yeah, in a sense of how the um, actual presentation it might be a bit bigger. Just to look at. Okay, so that might make it marginally um, larger. So essentially, really the good thing is that this will be displayed on the mint, on the recording as well for the public to see. And um, so it's essentially a flowchart which works on the basis of that the application relates to either being a major development, so i.e. 10 plus new homes, or a minor, which is between one and nine homes, has to be a household development or demolition of existing building or demolition of an unlisted building in the conservation area. And then it works on the basis of if it isn't, then actually no calling can, can happen. If it is, then you can move forward through to the town council, um, considering the possibility of it being called in on the basis that the committee resolved to object to the application or to recommend refuse, sorry, object in terms of recommend refuse or express concern. If they don't, then they can't um, call it in. But if they do, then there's a case where the committee will debate as to whether or not they feel they would like the application to be called in and a resolution is then recorded within the minutes that the application is either called in or not called in. 
Um, and then if it is to be called in, then there's a series of steps that the town council officer will take to request um, support of a district councillor, um, or I think it's along the lines that there has to be two committee representatives from the district and obviously our own support, which is already in place. And it's, it, it's worth noting as well that if we don't resolve to initiate a call in, the town council would not support a call in for any circumstances. So um, it's just a helpful nuance, I think, to add in, not into this. Yeah, one. no, no, that's fine. Thanks. While we're discussing. One of the changes that we made was to, in the second box down, the first one's one, two, the second box down, um, there's a precondition that the planning committee resolves to object, refusal, which is how it was expressed in the draft, but then we added or expressed concern. So we don't actually have to outright say we, ob we object or have refusal. It may be a yeah. On the fence, as it were, but we express concern, and in either of those cases, we can. Yeah. I can't remember what the other change was, but off the top of my head, yeah. I can't. I think it was just the two that I remember in your email today. No, oh, no, the change, no. sorry, to here. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not aware. I, I do have a third point that relates to the minutes, not yeah. strictly on the minutes, but at the end of here, it says correctly, officers will advise the planning committee for feedback from. CBC councillor, which Carl did in fact by email. Um, and that, that's useful because there's a learning point here. And, and so simply ask a question whether that feedback should be matters arising in this meeting. Because then we can take note of um, if the SAD, SADC councillors agree and the calling goes through, that's fine. If they disagree, then it's a learning point as to do we know why? Because we're all we're all learning here of the new procedure. <laughs> so does, does it have to be like two district councillors agree with the call in or something? Yes. Or, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 three, it's three of the town council ward councillors or um, the members of the district council planning committee. Okay. But the key point is, is that the town council has to be one of those. No, it doesn't. No. Can it be my reading as well? But apparently, oh, it's, okay. It's I'll stand corrected. It could be three district councillors. Okay. But I mean, my reading as well. Yeah. There were two last time where we initiated the call, and that was agreed by district councillors. There was some where we, we district councillors, could not say much because we didn't agree. Mm -hmm. And there's something for us to learn from that. We can't expect unanimity all the time. Yes. Yeah. So I think it might might be useful, such as meeting, just to note what happened. I know Carl sent an email, but that's not quite the same thing. And see if there is a uh, a learning point. This is a new process. Can I ask Cathy if we're doing this um, that we put it in where we've put in the minutes about if we've initiated a call in, if we add it into there. Okay. That's entirely possible. There would need to be, um, so essentially on the agenda, it would fall after the minutes because I can't see adding something after the minutes have been right. Made. Okay, that makes there could be an additional item sort of after the minutes to just a, a matters arising as a or to note sheets that can state the outcome of those callings from the pre from related to that last set of minutes. That's and it would be yeah. very small, you know, we might not even have anything to mention if we haven't had a um, call in request. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, any other comments on the minutes? On that one? Well, uh, um, no, that's fine. Thank you very much for doing that. And with those amendments, we happy to accept those as a true record on the vote. I don't know when never know whether it's a vote if you weren't happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might think that's allowed. Um, I believe so. Yeah, it's the main right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it's an amended set. Because um, no, because of the minutes, the next set of minutes of the minutes thing changes. So we have one. There's one Yeah, but it's only green. <laughs> about the colour on their pens. You need me to come in and sign it again with the proper colour. No, I don't think that matters. Good. 
You want to challenge it, Roger? Uh, it's, it's it might have been black. Actually. Black would be pretty neutral. Done it in my own blood if I had to, just to get this done. Concentrate what I'm doing. Thank you. Um, item four minutes of the meeting of the Halfton uh, Conservation Area Statement Review Working Party held on the 18th of August. Um, are there any matters arising from that minutes that we need to look at, or is it just? No, I don't think so. I think no. Yeah. Um, in that case, I think we're just noting that. Do you have any quick tell me? What's that? Oh, for the for the points. Yes, no, just purely noting those. Lovely. Um, Emma's report. No, actually, I had not I've had a report before. No, that's um, an opportunity for us to be able to um, present. Um, so, um, yeah, this is an opportunity for us to raise something as um, it has not been able to be put onto the agenda because yeah. of it has arisen since the agenda has been issued. So if we have, for instance, um, a resident approach to say that there's an application that's maybe got an amendment that they would like considered at that meeting, we wouldn't be able to consider it unless it was actually the on the agenda. Um, where we have had a um, situation where we've had a resident that requested us to. Do we have any urgent items? We don't. Lovely. No, I have nothing to report. Not today. Oh, that's no, a nice today. Uh, have we received any public questions in accordance with standing order 22 and 33? No, none have been received. Any letters of objection? No, none have been received of those either. In that case, I can move us to the meat of the agenda, which is the applications registered in the weeks ending the 5th of August, the 12th of August, and the 19th of August. Starting with 5 2022 1865 at 18A Stewart Road. Okay, before we start, there was a request, I think, at the last committee meeting that um, a record is put at the beginning of each list yeah. as to which date that. Um, set of um, set of applications related to and when the call in deadline was. So those you know, as we work through the agenda, you'll move through the different um, meeting dates. Um, call in. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so um, 18A Stuart Road. Um, this committee considered the original application in May 2022 with the following observations. The proposal looks to create a port to the frontage with a wooden canopy, a single store extension to the side to the boundary of number 20 Stuart Road, or that's very net, to create a pantry and utility room and a two story rear extension which extends 2.5 metres rearwards and 5.3 metres across the width of the property, to create additional living space at ground floor level and to extend the bedroom size to first floor. No additional bedrooms are added to the existing three. The design of this property takes the form of a long single storey projection towards the front boundary, with the main property many metres back on the plot. This is the layout of the property on the plot and the relationship with neighbouring properties, there appears to be no adverse effect on their amenity. The design of materials in keeping with the original property, there is a carriage style drive to the property with parking provision for at least three cars, no tree works, and not a conservation area. The changes to the original scheme appear to be just the positioning of the bedroom two window to be set more to one side and change to projecting glazing panels to the master bedroom. All other elements remain the same. So consider no objection. So just on the screen there, you can um, see that it kind of brings back a few memories um, that this sort of a quite strange property where the main property is set back on the plot and then it projects further forward. Um, so you can just see here, hopefully a little bit, where it will extend further forward just here. Um, so yeah, ultimately I recommended that we say the same as what we said last time. Yeah, lovely. Any comments from councillors? No? Uh, I wouldn't mind to go with that recommendation. All in favour? Okay, that's agreed. 5 1884 does not meet the criteria or cost for consideration. So on to 5 1860 Green Okay, um, so the proposal looks to demolish the porch and external garage in place with a wrap around extension along the side and the around the bit. Extensions at ground floor level include a new entrance, 
combining, let's just say, combining the garage into the main body of the house and extensions along the side and rear to make the property more uniform in shape. The rear extension extends um, 1160 millimetres rearwards from the existing building line. A first floor level, a further bedroom is added, which will be four in total, and another extended by means of an extension um, over the new garage and past, partially across the rear single storey extension. A one metre gap along the boundary of number 11 greenway is maintained. Number 11 greenway also appears to extend it rearwards, and the building line of these proposals fall in line with this property's rear building line. Um, the garage parking space is retained and two off-street parking spaces are provided. There appears to be no detrimental impact on the neighbouring properties and there are no tree works, not conservation area. Um, so you can see here sort of the Red Cross um, and then the property to the side number 11, which clearly you can see has actually extended rearwards uh, already. Um, and then we've got here just a, um, an overhead visual that shows the extensions proposed. Would you like to see the drawings? Would we like to see the drawings? Yeah. 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 So, thank you. Look at me. What I've done here is I've got the existing and then the proposed marked round in between. My only question is about. The terracing effect, really, I guess. But I think it's probably okay. Did you want to look at the Just look at the front. Yeah. yeah. Why not? It's hard from the south. It's by. Um, um, Orford Road, it's one of those one of I'll have a look in just a second. I can never remember the other names of roads. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, yeah it's sort of just off the Wheatlands Road. Yeah, so down from Oldham Road. It's off of High Crescent. Towards the South Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll have a look in just a second. So, um, I mean, this, to be fair, is quite out. Um, actually, no, it's not overly out date. So it's what, two or three years old, these images here. That's a bit cool. So it's this house here is the one that's proposed to have the extensions, and then you can see here that the neighbour has already extended out. I mean, getting right to be fair, it is terraced, isn't it? So yeah, that's yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not left, but I guess, yeah. Um, yeah, I, don't, I can't see what that one. Yeah, and look, when you look at the aerial view, there are three houses near, nearby have already done their roofs. I think the fact that we've got um, a metre retained along the boundary mm -hmm. line does help. Yeah. Yeah. Because the one next door doesn't look like it's up to the boundary line. So you no, I think, that, I think there's a metre on one side and then a metre again, because it looks like there's a little canopy at the back door. Yeah. There. yeah. So you'll still have the gap, so they, they, they'll be a bit more terracing, but as you say, I mean, do partially. Um, all in favour of the recommendation? Okay, that's three, three. 5 1871 does not meet the criteria required for consideration. So on to so shall we? I just wondered why I didn't well, I mean I don't know what you're going to say, but this talks about a front and rear extension. So I just wondered why it didn't meet the criteria. Which um which uh, this one here? The single story. Four high ends. <laughs> because of it was so small. Okay. Yeah, it was Generally, I will always look at an application before I make the decision. So even this one here, where it's a single storey rear extension, I always look because yeah. a single storey rear extension doesn't tell me how far back it projects yeah. or what sort of effect it's going to have. But this was actually extremely small. Uh, 25, 2022, 1878, 58, high first crescent. Is he climbing? Not likely. Yes, indeed. Okay, so um, this one actually has got two applications in exactly the same time. Um, Are they the same application? Very, very similar. Yeah, very similar. So as I said here, two applications running in tandem. Uh, this proposal is for, a is for a ground floor to extend forwards to be in line. I'll just move on. You see it here actually quite well. Um, to be in line with the existing garage building line, you create an entrance hall, an open fronted canopy in front of the entrance door and extend the formal living room. 
extend viewers to fill the gap to the side of the existing living space dining space with a small additional rear of projection from the existing building line. At first floor, it is proposed to extend four metres rearwards over the new ground floor extension across the full width of the property to enlarge the existing and create an additional bedroom, five in total, with the addition of three gable roof forms. Both neighbouring properties appear to have rear building lines that are of similar depth to this proposal at first floor level. The proposal also looks to convert the garage into an office with the introduction of smooth rim, white window to the sides and to the upper section of the frontage. There are no tree works and not conservation area. There appears to be just two off street parking spaces provided and the loss of the, ga uh, of the garage parking space and no, with no details of any additional parking provided. And I've said ex uh, consider express concern and whilst the committee have no objection to the proposed extension subject to no loss of amenities to neighbouring properties, they do however express concern over the possible inadequate parking provision provided on the site, this is 40 and 72 of the district plan in first. So would you like to look at the, at the drawings? Yeah. I have a question as well. The, the rendering, is it going to be rendered white or lower? Just where um, where I described. So it's just at the upper section. I think if you look on here, actually, Roger explains where the piece of smooth render. But it's not the whole house. It's just sections. Mm -hmm. Might, might yeah. My question there uh, whether it is really an, a non material amendment. It seems to be quite a lot for a non material amendment. Sorry, from brick to white render, for example. I don't think it is. It's it is a non material. That's the last. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry, so, it's the history. Yeah. Like not, <laughs> yeah. like more than that. Yeah, no. And it's, that's actually the issue's comment last month. The changes proposed are uh, raised material pumpkins. Okay. How different is it to the proposal, the, the one that was permitted by 2022 uh, 065 at 95? Um, I honestly don't know actually. Does it sound remarkably similar? It's, yeah, I think it is, an, it is more actually. I did, did I look at it again? I think the only difference is the rendering. It's been actually, so right, I'm trying to remember back to this. So actually, in a sense, it's very similar, but I have replicated yes. very close to what um, we said last time. But is it just the rendering? Because the rendering got turned down. The rendering was turned down as being a, um, a non material amendment. <laughs> So they didn't say because, that you necessarily yeah. can't have the rendering, but it's, 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 a, it's, it's a, not, it is material, but you can't say it's a non material. Yeah. I'm happy with your, um, your wording. Yes. I mean, my, my first reaction was that this was over development, but I mean, looked at the, I looked at the um, all the plans, etc. and what's also in the street, my reaction that. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be very similar. I mean, the only possibility of refusing is on parking. Yeah. Personally, I'm not entirely sure whether that merits express concern, given the, the area in town, but um, I, I don't have enough of an objection to the recommendation to not vote for it. So I'm um, all in favour of the recommendation. Thanks, Kate. Um, as that's an express concern, we're required to also vote on whether we like to call in. Um, I'd like to propose quite quickly that we don't want to call this in because it's only about parking. Uh, all in favour of not calling this in? Okay, so that's agreed, no calling. Yeah. Um, and then I think the second one, is there um, different papers that we need to consider for this? Not one? really, yes and no, in a sense. So the only difference is that if you can see on, I'm not sure that you can actually really even see it, um, on this application we just looked at, there is a very tiny little porch at the front here, which yes. is included, but on the next application, it is not included. It is literally something as simple as that that differs. So um, I probably don't need to go through the whole 
sort of rigmarole of it. So, I mean, my word is just that this property has two applications running in tandem. This proposal mirrors that of the one we just looked at, say for the open fronted canopy in front of the entrance door. And the rest of it remains exactly the same. Um, and that's why I have essentially been to the same version. In that case, I will take, I'm going to be slightly cheeky and take both recommendations together. Well, express concern and not call it in. Um, all in favour? Okay, that's agreed. So it's agreed for my recommendation and uh, not to call in. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it seems a bit odd that we have to vote every single time about not doing the call. Can't really express concern or uh, repeat. Well, it's agreed. Yeah, it's agreed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's debatable because you don't normally vote on everything the matter of road. Vote on something if someone proposes to the call in. Um, I'm, on a process level, I'm happy to go with whatever the committee is comfortable with. If, if we want to do it, if someone proposes a call in, then I'm happy to take a vote at that point. The Sam Clark said at the last meeting that I need to take a vote on every item where it was an express concern or right. I think it's a learning process and I think it's evolving. Um, I, mean, I, th I think the way that worked, that worked fine. If anybody wants to say something different, then then that's that's the thing. Yeah. 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 So I'd like to propose a call. Yeah. 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 As long as it's made clear at that at the point, then yeah, that's absolutely fine. I think for now I'll I'll take a vote on every item if we can get some advice from the town clerk on what the, the process is. Okay, be. I can quite happily ask her on that. Thank you. Um just for due diligence, I'd rather not have to go back and do all of these votes again at the next meeting. Yeah. Um 5 2022 160. Sorry, I can't read. 1906 does not meet the criteria required for consideration. Uh, so on to 5 2022 1864 um, at 2 Ashcroft Close. Okay, um, so the property is currently a bungalow set on a good sized plot in a road of other large scale bungalow properties. Number one, Ashcroft Close appears to be, so it appears to have a significantly larger footprint than the application site, and number three, Ashcroft Close of a similar size. Um, the proposal at ground floor is to extend forwards of the building, the front building line, and replace existing large bay windows with standard flat fronted windows, which appears to match other properties in the street. Demolish the two rear external stores and replace over the footprint with an extension to the family room and a further extension to the existing bedroom. A great deal of internal reconfiguration is also proposed. At first floor, it is proposed to introduce a small loft conversion to create a bedroom with ensuite and a storeroom. A series of skylights and VLUX windows are also proposed to the roof. The property has a long sweeping carriage drive with ample parking provision. Three parking spaces have been marked on the drawings, although further parking would be possible. That's the television. That's the remote. I'm quite sure what that will be. Right, give me a second. I just need to get rid of that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, all right, okay, so um assume it must have some snooze or something on it. Mm -hmm. it's better than now. Um, right, so it assumes the scarlet and VLOX windows are also proposed to the booth. Property has a long sweeping carriage drive with ample parking provision. Free parking spaces have been marked on the drawings, although further parking would be possible. No tree works proposed, just removal of some hedging with the introduction of additional hedging to the frontage, not to conservation area. And I say consider no objection, subject to no detrimental impact on neighbouring properties, quality 72 of the digital plan fares. Um, so there's the, your, the bungalow in front. Um, and you can see here that the bungalow to the left is on much more substantial footprint um, than this particular application. Um, and then this shows the extensions that they're wanting to do. So the frontage essentially really are extending beyond the bay windows, but making them flat fronted window. Then the extension to the rear on the left is over the footprint from existing sort of stores, the sort of kind of like old coal stores, and then a smaller extension to the side on the right, um, and then the small dorm window. Would you like to see the drawings? Right. The number is going on. It's going to no. Uh, well, I do have a question. Uh, you say subject to no, uh, uh, no detrimental impact. In more specific, what sort of detrimental impact do you mean? 
because of 45 degrees or um, it's because of we don't actually visit the site and I'm doing everything sort of on the basis of drawings, I can't sort of be 100% sure that the property potentially to the right, which currently has nothing on that site, it's if it's going to have any loss of light or any loss of, you know, loss of amenity. Um, so we just bad that in the subject to no loss of amenity to that particular property. <laughs> Am I right in thinking other properties and that um, those have gone into the roof? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know the reason for that. I think the one actually to the left has got sky lights. It's a big area, but the roof lines actually kept still fairly low. And it's, they the built yeah, the roof it's, rather than. Um, yeah, they're building, they're doing like a basically flat leaf dormer to the rear. So there's it's still retained in a sense from the frontage as a bungalow. It's already quite yeah. yeah, so I think that there has been development on the street, but this street seems quite old. It's 12 to 13 years old. To Google that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think we've done it after I'm not going to say brand names. Mr. Street Scene, that's others are available. So, um, what would you like to agree? Uh, so, I think I'll put no objection, subject to no objection. I'll come back to a vote. Morning, Clayton. Lovely. Okay, that's okay. Agreed. By 2022, 1898 at 66 and 66 Lucan Road. Observations. Right, um, these two properties are a pair of semi detached properties with the mirror image of footprints. The proposal is to carry out exactly the same extension to each property but in a mirror image. It's proposed to change the existing hipped ends to gazes to accommodate the roof extension with a rear dormer window to provide an additional bedroom with an ensuite to each property, which would total five in each property. The stairwells to the roof accommodation have a side window which is obscure glazed and non opening. There is ample parking on the frontage for four cars, no key works in the conservation area, and both are locally listed. This application is more modest than that which was refused for number 64 Luton Road, which included the side dormer, front Velux windows, and the rear dormer was larger. This proposal also is for both properties, thus creating uniformity to the pair of semi detached properties. Consider no objection subject to the appropriate design and use of materials on these locally listed buildings in the Hoffman Conservation Area. Policy 85 and 87 of the district plan and tax. Um, so you can see here that. Essentially, they're looking to do exactly the same. Um, new image, show you the drawings. That's the No, so it's um, just there's the only the only sort of real difference is going to be really to the rear. The, the difference of the, the front will only be visible be the fact that the, the roof is becoming a stable as opposed to fit. Are there any others in the street there where it's no longer a Um Yes, I think that actually that stretch of Luton Road has had a few amendments there's and changes a, over time, mm, to be fair. A very fine. dramatic difference. In I think the park is good by trees anyway. They are, they are quite a distance away, actually. Yeah. The side of 66, is that connected to 6668? If those are little carriages, some of the carriages are dry. Are they? Because 64 yes, has more room on the side. 
that probably helps actually pick that. Well, actually, probably if I just go up to that picture yeah. there, you can see. So there's each property has a garage to the side. Yeah. Okay. Presumably, we're content with the window wouldn't overlook. Um, well, no, it's obscured and on non opening. Yeah, it's just for stairwell. I guess we are. Quite lighting. I'm always keen that we should be promoting the neighbourhood plan. Um, should we not be referring also to PSD1? I can probably do ESD2. Yeah, that's fine. I suppose, yes, because it is in the conservation area and it's locally listed, so it fits within the mm -hmm. parameters of um, design, you know, visually attractive, designed to a high quality. Mm -hmm. So I'm more than happy to add in the um, ESB1 and probably the ESB2 as well, which is local character and heritage. Yeah. Okay. Um, lovely. With that amendment, are we happy to go to the recommendation for the table? Okay, that's agreed. Lovely. 5 2022 does not meet the criteria required for consideration. So on to 5 2022 1947 55 Springfield present. Okay. The property is semi detached with an attached garage which is set back along the side of the elevation and marginally protrudes into the garden. The road naturally scrapes towards number 57 Springfield Crescent, who have also carried out side extensions that bound with the application site. The property is currently has three declared bedrooms and a loft room with eave storage and a small rear dormer window. This proposal is to introduce a front porch and carry out a wraparound extension to the side and rear with many internal alterations along with the extent with the extensions the rear extensions fall in line with the existing garage projection it's proposed to remove the garage and replace with an exercise room utility and workshop um, first floor side and rear extension is proposed partially over the ground floor extension to extend two of the existing bedrooms one bedroom on this level is also to be made an office at roof level an additional large bedroom with bathroom is proposed along with an extension to the existing dormer window across the width of the property and the addition of two dormers to the front elevation. Four solar panels are also proposed to the front roof slope. Despite the first floor extension being brought in from the boundary of number 55 Springfield present there appears to be a lot of development proposed for the site which may present as being overly dominant on the street scene and could cause a detrimental impact on the neighbouring properties. Parking provision for two cars has been detailed on, draw on drawings, which is insufficient for a, for a four, possibly five bedroom property. There are no tree works and no conservation area. Consider recommend refusal. Proposal is an overdevelopment of the plot, leading to an overly dominant appearance on the street scene and a possible loss of community on neighbouring properties. In addition, there is insufficient parking provision provided on the site for the number of bedrooms proposed. Policies 40, 69, 72 of the district plan and policies 32 of the Harkins Wall of the Plan of Affairs. So, actually, you can see here that there's quite a lot going on. I will get the drawings out for this actually to help actually visualise what changes there are. Um, so, that's the existing and the proposed in terms of the, the frontage. Then you can see here what changes are proposed with the existing homes and the second small extensions. There's just quite a lot that's going on. Going on. It's under officer observation, five lines up from the bottom, and further 55, this is 15 and 57. This is 55. Yes, I do. I don't mean 50, I don't mean 50, I mean 50, That's the front. Yeah. I've got it as a number two. 
Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, there's the addition of solar panels to the frontage as yeah. well, and there's this oh, much larger yes, door at the rear. It just feels like it's a mess. I'll be honest, I'm not that bothered by the solar panels. It's everything else that I find. Well, solar panels just add extra bulk and everything to it. Mm. Have to position in whichever way the sun comes round, but it's been more, more available to put in the way. And outside of conservation, you need to try to find me voting against solar panels purely on the basis of getting solar panels. Um, Chair, do you think whilst um, people are looking at the plans, can we just have a little look at Google or Google Earth just to have a look, see if anyone in the names have done it? <laughs> My reaction as well. I don't know whether anyone knows the answer. A friend of mine who lives in the conservation area asked if they want to put solar panels on the back of their house so they're not visible from the road. Do they need planning permission? I'll speak advice. Yes. What is it? Yeah, I wasn't sure if it's I would on the map. I would have stood for the report for development. That's because in the committee of development. Yeah, it's still a form of planning commission. But that just said you don't need planning commission. A form of commission from the product. So I could have done it without, but it was just Right, so this here is the application site. And then you've got this property here, which I mean, that was another reason why I was concerned is that the road slopes down. Well, so number 57 is, which is this one here, is going to have even more of an impact of this big. I mean, that would be quite a big, for the gang of the garage, that'd be a fairly mm -hmm. big terracing in fact, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? I know the right hand people are going first sometimes. If you get in first, you yeah. don't create it, and then the second person does. But, but it's a semi, isn't it? So it can look very odd. Yes, yeah. I, I think because of the height difference, it's going to make it even more intrusive. Mm -hmm. uh, is it going to be a different height to the one next door? The one it's attached to? Um, no, they're not increasing the height, but it's just that they're coming out. Yeah, no, I, I just went yeah. the height difference. No, kind of so way. it's sort of really, in a sense, it's coming out like this and yeah. then down. Because um, there's not even really much, there's a tiny step in at the lower level, but only by sort of about a metre before it then comes up like that and then comes across. Yeah. It's, it's going to look very odd with the house next door with that extension that they've got at the rear of it. Mm -hmm. but it's already at... quite an odd extension on the one on the right, yeah. and it'll make it yeah. much more pronounced. Yeah. Yeah. And just makes it one block. I have, I've got a house where this has happened, and the neighbour extended first, and I can't basically because they don't. You know, they they've done it, and I haven't. Yeah. So yeah. I, I point up, and yeah, I don't think so. It's a height differential as well that it exaggerates the problem. Yeah, I think it would just look really odd. Yeah, okay. as much as anything else. So, um. What would you like to say? Oh, sorry, um, we need to promote it yesterday or it was too? Probably less so here because it's not conservation area. Um, let's do one. No, conservation area. First part of the time. The other way around, two is more related to conservation area. One's just industry in general. Okay, I mean, I'm more than happy to add it. Yeah. Any other language we'd like to learn? Yeah. Um, I think I might mention the uh, potential terracing effects. Um, if possible. 
Um, with uh, those amendments, we have to take the recommendation. Oh, the I'm sorry, I would mention mentioning we have to hide differential as well. Hide those that was from the early dominant empirical tracing. Well, Exacerbated by the high difference. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can sort of use that wording when it comes to in relation to the possible loss of immunity on neighbouring properties. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me we don't just recommend a few reasons. We, we actually feel quite strongly about it. So I think that sort of detail. Yep. Okay. Thank you. With those amendments, all in favour? Okay, so that's agreed. Um, would anyone like to call this in? Discuss it. Let's have a discussion. Um, on the basis that we do, we do like it. It is an open development for a number of reasons. Um, and therefore, I think it must be at least a candidate for calling in. Um, well, it's not a conservation area, um, but it's going to have quite an impact on the street. Um, so, I don't know if I was a district councillor, I forget the paper and asked me to call it in, I think I, I think it probably would. Um, and if that's my inclination now, but I accept, you know, I'm just one word. Um, okay, I think I'll, and does anyone else want to make a comment or should we put this to a vote on a call in? I, I would agree with Councillor Butler, I think. Okay. My first reaction was, yeah, called in. Lovely. Um, all in favour of the call in. Okay, so that's agreed that the call in will be initiated. Um, I'm no, no, for September. Yes, so I mean, as soon as the minutes are agreed on within the. This is. Yeah. No. No. Is that, is that you? No. No. All right. Okay. Uh, so, Ren, Moore, and. Can't remember the third council members' questions. Sure something. Very sure. Um, five twenty twenty two one seven three four number twelve Barnes Dean. Questions will be rising on this one. Okay, yeah. I'll just get back to the speaking. Thanks. Okay, right, 12 Barnstein. Property is sited on an open fronted plot, which the street is characterised by, at a point in the road which adjoins the entrance to Pondrick Road, therefore creating more speeding space. However, the proposed extensions are focused to the side of the property which borders number 10 Barnstein, with the exception of a small ground floor side extension to the open side. The proposal is to marginally extend forward to expand the office and entrance hall, demolish the garage and playroom, demolish the garage and playroom outer wall to bring this elevation in to allow a one metre gap down the boundary. Um, build over this side of the property at first floor level to expand the bedrooms, extend rearwards at ground floor level by a small distance, and the raising of the roof by 700 um, millimetres to create a further two bedrooms, totaling six. Crown roof is to be introduced in place of the existing gable roof form with a rear door window, five VLUX windows, and solar panels to the front, and size also proposed, along with a full height window to the rear for the master bedroom. Properties in the, to the rear in Pondrick Road are a long distance away with no side windows to suffer overlooking. There appears to be parking vision for the passage of four cars, no pre works proposed, and the property is not in the conservation area. Also, consider express concern that proposed two story side extensions and the raising of the roof form could create an unacceptable loss of immunity and detrimental effect on number 10 Barnsdean, policy 69 and 72 of the district plan, and ESD2 of the Half Inter Neighbourhood Plan and Affairs. So you can see here, um, I'll share the, the drawings, but you can see to the left hand side here is the existing, and then to the right hand side is the proposed block plan. So you can see that there's quite a lot. The bulk being added to that right hand slide. So that's a garage on the right hand side. So obviously. currently it's a, um, no, on the, oh, so on on the, the left other. hand side. Yeah. Um, I don't I assume so. I think I'm not sure how old yeah. the was. Because it's the other side of this hedge. Yeah. So I can have a little look in just a second. That'll probably help actually. Yeah. It's either a garage or it's a sort of little small 
it's a single, single, single story. It's a single story that I need to be yeah. just right there. Right. Yeah. Well, I know, but I'm the first one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. <laughs> Here. Right, so once again, I've just done the little green highlighting to show where the extensions are going to be. There we go, actually. It's like a little not a garage. It's like it probably was a garage that's been yeah, it's been changed. turned into an office or a store or something. Yeah, comment when we're looking at it. My first reaction was to agree with you. I think it's, it's if it were in the middle of a plot. I sort of let it go. It's the fact that it's, it's a big plot and it was always development down the back of the boundary. Mm. If it was to the left, it would have been yeah, like a romantic graphic. It's also much more space. It's also on quite a big hill where I worry actually about the effect it might have on people on the opposite side of the road. I mean, mm, not necessarily light, but just in terms of the bulk on the streets. So if you're looking up at it, mm. See what I mean? If you look yeah. up, at the, up that drive at the property, you've got another extra bit. Yeah, no, 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 no. But a number of properties have bonded in have been extended so a significant or so, and um, uh, you know, many, many of them very successfully. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned about this one for the reason you, you, you mentioned. It, 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 the plots are reasonable. To allow extension, but it's all at one, virtually all at one side. Um, mix for a bulkier house and mix for a higher roof line with the big skylights underneath the roof. The up for recollection, other de uh, developments in Barnstein haven't had such high roofs. They've, they've gone for the yeah. vertical extensions, but not. So it's kind of conscious, it's really conscious from the front. You just put it back on the, on the front picture again. Yes. Sorry, yes. Probably too mm. far away from what I'd love to, to do a amenity for them. I do think it might. There are no windows down there as well. There are no first floor windows on that right hand side, though, are there? No, I um, mean, what I'm talking about is because it's on a hill. Okay. If you've got going down the hill, the one's opposite, probably all right, but I might guarantee it. I had decided more of the street scene personally. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, I mean, the argument about the mini is having the yeah. street scene. I think my compromise is to um, express concern, but not call it in. Well, not call it in. Call it. Yeah, I could think that's reasonable. Would you like me to add some wording here in relation to the street scene? So I haven't actually mentioned street scene in the, the um, recommendation think, here. I think probably. What it would be in relation to what there is now. Not just in relation to orders, no. So. How, how long is the rose? Quite long. I just wanted to mm -hmm. that one to do it today, where we could see up and down a bit, see whether there, like to, yeah. whether there are other close, whether there are other close, you know, whether anyone's done similar. I'm not sure how, how long it is. If I recall correctly, it's about 38 houses. Quite a few of them done that vision stage site. Google <laughs> might be I said I spent a long time around there in May. <laughs> Joys of local politics is you do sometimes just no. Right, okay. so that's the one but this is there. the application site here. 
that's the Maven property there. So you can see, and actually that is accurate because the pictures that they've included with the, in the design and access statement show that there is this flat roof, single story at the side still. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're... Oh, the street view is quite old. Yeah, it's 2009. That's too old. A lot, a lot, there's a lot been done recently. Mm -hmm. mm, there's one on the corner which is um, presumably been done in 2009, which is, I think, quite, quite high. The black one. Yeah. The black one was great. Whatever color it is. Yeah, I think it's we're not going to get a particularly accurate. No, I, I think express idea. concern is reasonable. I would be a bit reluctant to refuse because I think you know all over Hoffenden people do get that close. Mm. But but when you consider the the road as a whole, but we without going there, we can't see it today. Um, the extensions developments have been done, I think, sensitively. And this, I think, is crosses the line. Yeah. Enough, personally, I would refuse it on those grounds. You've got to draw a line somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people keep pushing the boundaries. You know. I mean, it, it is quite, a, well, I don't know what it looks like now. From these pictures, it is obviously fairly open, quite yeah. large. Yeah. yeah. Spread out. Yeah, there's no feeling of being crammed in on that road, is there? No. From what we've seen here. Yeah. I think actually. Well, then why, why then they extend the other way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I suppose because it's on the junction. It's on the junction on the so corner. You'd want to be on the other side, wouldn't you? If you were yeah, for it's true. When, when, we, when you looked at it from that way, I could see why they maybe hadn't extended to the left. Well, there are others because it's not the only junction where they have actually gone yeah, okay. up to the. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's not the job of this commission to work out where they should be doing their own thing, but merely to judge where they have. Yeah. Um, but yes, um, I think I'll put refusal to a vote, adding in the language about uh, the effect on the street scene, um, and see if that floats. And then if it doesn't, we'll um, go a different way. And can I say query is do you want to go? With the addition of the ASB one. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. All in favour of refusal on that basis? Change my mind. Oh, okay. That's the majority. So that's the majority. So we're changing it to become recommend yeah, refusal. Um, would anyone like to call this in? That's all right. Um, do we want a discussion on this or should we proceed to a vote? Uh, it's since we've sort of rehearsed the arguments, haven't we, Chair? Um, I, I feel strongly, and I think this is one where it is appropriate to have the democratic input of elected councillors, just officers. Uh, if the fix the street scene, is in one way it just affects a neighbour. Um, therefore, I personally would. Um, anyone else like to comment on this before I put it to a vote? Whether it's what you're doing related to it is indeed. What I'm just going to do actually is just double check to see whether or not it's, um, there's been any further um, objections. Presidents will speak. Well, I'll have a that. Does anyone else like to comment on the call then? That's for Roger. Sorry. Yeah. Me too. On the basis of that, yeah, we agree that the majority is that we will call in. Yeah, do I need to put it to a formal vote or are we happy with that? Just say that all. What do you say? Okay, so that's agreed. Um, I will appreciate to call in. Lovely. Uh, 520 Four two and one nine five three do not meet the criteria required for consideration. Uh, on to five twenty twenty two one nine five six so twenty one weeks in the road. Okay. Well, property is a character for three story townhouse dwelling which is locally listed in the conservation area. The proposal is to extend at ground floor level rearwards by. 2480 millimetres to the side with number 19 Milton Road and by 6 metres to the side with number 23 Milton Road. 
and falls in line with this property's rear building line to create open plan living space with a flat roof and skylights and the addition of a bay window to the frontage to mirror the existing. It's proposed at first floor level to extend to the side over the existing flat roof element to the same depth as the opposite first floor side extension to relocate a bedroom um, to enable a dressing room to be added in another bathroom. Only internal alterations are proposed at second floor level. The roof form is stepped in over the first floor extension to the site of the number 19 Milton Road to reduce the impact, prevent an overly dominant roof form and the creation of a terracing effect. Despite internal alterations, no additional bedrooms are being added to the property. The windows in the property are to be replaced with hardwood framed windows which mirror neighbouring properties. The garage is lost, but there is ample parking provision on the frontage for at least four cars. Consider no objection subject to notice of the to the neighbouring properties and the appropriate design and use of materials on this locally listed building in the conservation area. Policy 69, 72, 85, and 87 district plan and policy ESD 2 of the Hartland Neighbourhood Plan of Affairs. Um, the, you, I'll probably get the drawings out for this one so that you can see. Maybe show you the bottom It is quite a good size plot. Yeah, it's long and it sort of yeah, disappears around the corner. Right, so it's not far, you can see. No, it's, it's good. Nice long plot. <laughs> Yeah, they're long and narrow, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So the, the green um, highlighting just shows where the extensions are going to be. Um, and then underneath, you can just see how the look of it's going to appear. Considering the look of the majority of Milton Road, I think this is not mm -hmm. too bad. I'm not entirely sure that that's how we make it feel by the degree. Mm -hmm. It's it's been sympathetically thought out. Yeah, it's a factor pass, isn't it? Mm. Also being sympathetic. Yeah. So although sort of looking at the block plan, it looks as if there's an awful lot going on, the bit that's extending rearwards is actually flat roof ground floor. And it's in line with the neighbouring property. Any comments from I'm not sure your green lining is quite high. Well, sorry. Green lining is quite high. It's there to sort of highlight the attention to the area. Yeah, yeah but I think, I, think that, I think that's green lining. I think it's no, that's already there. That's the garage. It's flat roof. So the garage is already there, oh, and the bay window is going in. Okay, so I'm just Yeah, I see that was this. Okay, but yeah, okay, it's the same footprint. Okay, I'm just I think essentially they're changing the garage to be a bit of accommodation. Yeah, 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 yeah. which makes yeah. sense given they've got a lot of parking. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Five. 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 Two oh two two. Sorry, sorry. Oh, one eight nine. Okay, that's our presentation. Yeah. Second line. It says two approval. Oh, it's the second line. Three eight nine. Okay, that's our presentation. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. So surprise, surprise, this has been changed from a, you know, care home to residential. This is the very controversial one, isn't it? That yeah. we went on where yeah, we were sort of stopped at the meeting. I seem to remember that this developer only built, you know, care homes and all this sort of thing. Well, that's that's it's right. all sheltered accommodation, isn't it? Oh, is it? Well, it's, it's all trying to change. change. Uh, oh, it's changing. No, it's from, not sure. Yeah. Is it not? No, no, it's all it's, it's, it's just retirement. It's definitely just retirement. Yeah, oh, is it still it's changing? It's not retirement. Oh, OK. Yeah, it's only minimum age. Yeah, it's only minimum age. Oh, OK. I thought yeah. that was changing yeah. from here. Yeah. It's so a change of use from C2 care home to C3 residential. Okay. Mm. I think it's the difference between uh, okay. care home and residential. Okay, fair enough. Because a little bit further along, it does use the wording. Um, uh, yeah, the time housing, yeah, yeah, okay, housing scheme. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah it's all small. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Um, I'm assuming we didn't want to discuss that. No, it's not. It's not awesome. Okay, so 5, 2022, 20, also does not meet the criteria, neither does 1991 or 2017 or 2023 or 1827. Mm -hmm. uh, so on to 5, 2022, 204. Okay, so proposal is for a small extension to the front to extend the garage footprint for conversion to study and to enlarge the porch. A rear ground floor extension taking into account the footprint of the existing conservatory, extending 3.5 metres rearwards, which is in line with the neighbouring property's rear building lines, and almost across the full width of the property with sloping roof form and an infill extension of first floor level to create another bedroom as proposed. Following the raising of the roof height by one metre, the introduction of a fifth bedroom with dressing room and ensuite proposed at roof level, with two dormers for the front, so to, sorry, to both the front and the rear. The road naturally slopes down in the direction of number 22, Park Mount. Property height is as existing is in line with number 22, but following the proposals being, will increase to be in line with number 26, Park Mount. There appears to be two parking spaces to the frontage below the required standard for five bedroom property. There does not appear to be a detriment to impact on neighbouring properties. And I would say consider express concern that there will be insufficient parking provision provided in the site. The number of bedrooms proposed, policies 40 and 72 of the district plan. You can see here the seat uh, street view. That's the proposed development. Would you like to see some better drawings? Mm -hmm. Right, so that there's quite a few because it shows the existing and the proposed. To, and then that is the existing, and that's the proposed floor plans. Fairly sympathetic to this, I would say, Chair. Yeah. It's at the, to the right of this house, it's sort of all the uniformed Victorian terraces, and to the left, um, I don't know, you know, slightly bigger houses, more period houses. This one is a little. Um, uh, well, uh, how do you describe it? Yeah, not, really, this is not going to be doing anything detrimental, I would say, to the street scene or to the, to the neighbours. Does the roof line go up? Yes, so, so as I described, it's currently in line with the property to the right, but when the proposal happens, it's then going to be in line with the property to the left. So the only thing I would question is whether that has an impact on the street scene of Victorian houses. If it's I think that looking actually, um, just if I can just go down to this one here, you can see though that the Victorian houses are set further forth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, my, my only action, I looked at this one some, in some detail, I was a bit, my only action, I was going to be much stronger than what uh, has been recommended here, and I think it's over the elements. I think the front dormers in particular is totally out of keeping with other, other properties in the street. Plus, plus the height, the extra height bothers me. When you put, put the building up to the height of the number one on the right, from the yeah, the height the height of the building is going to rise compared with the properties on the right from the road. 
I the same height as the ones on the left. I agree with Councillor Turnbull. I wonder if you mean Velux rather than Dormus, but either way. I thought they were. There are Dormus, two Dormus guys there. Dormus, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, That's what's stuck in my throat. The fact that if the Dormus at the back, which two of them are, because the ones at the front are totally. Um, oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, yeah. I've just displayed yeah. them on the screen. Yeah, sorry, yes. If it, if it were Velux, if it were Velux, I might. Yeah, have they got have they got valances on the left? I'm sorry. But that's different. Uh, uh, well, yes, right. So they not, they haven't got dormers left. They've got valances. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's the dormers. To me, that's going to make the front of the house top heavy and dull. They're quite large dormers, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite, quite slow. Yeah, it's going quite that way. Yeah. So it's going to be overbearing. The street scene compared with the Victorian that means, mm, yeah. or terrace, whichever it is. Yeah. Uh, mm. It's a mixed road, the yeah. Victorian just up to that point. Victorian is more in. It possibly, I would suggest, might make it a little bit more dominant because they've used black for glass. Yeah, it's a size, oh, it's a shape, it's not just that. Yeah, yeah. I agree that it's a size, it, but yeah. So, I think broadly we're concerned, you know, I'm not that concerned there's an overdevelopment, but I think there is a concern there for TCs and overdevelopment. Um, and about the potential effect on the street scene. I think that is a, that for me that's quite important. And, and the height. And the height. Mm. Um, but the height is why it's an over development. Mm. Um, so I think with the addition of those points, is there any other points that I've missed that you'd like to add? No, just to emphasize with the height, the Victorian ones, the roof line is only just above the um, pointy shape at the front. Sorry, not very technical. So this will be a, a lot, lot higher. It depends which way you come up or down the road, that is because if you're coming down the road, this is just going to be the same height as the one on the left. Yes, but if you're coming up the road, mm. it's, yeah. yeah. I, I think so. I think this is the point about this is how much we're concerned by it. I think we're concerned by it. I think the question is whether we're concerned or whether we would refuse it. I mean, parking in reality, when you talk about if you're going up the road, if you're driving up or down the road, parking is so tight at the bottom there that you can't really look at the houses because you're only looking at the road and squeezing through the cars. Mm, I'm not entirely sure that's a yeah. planning concern. But, um, so with the addition, we've got the additional language. Yes. Um, I'm going to put express concern to a vote. Well, what, is, sorry, what is the additional language? Sorry, sorry about... Um, the yeah, so effect on the street scene and then the overdevelopment um, about why the increase in height. Uh, and, oh, oh, yeah, the, poli the policies related to them. Well, um, would be, well, I mean, obviously I'm referencing policy 72 already um, for the district. I can use policy 69 in addition, but as far as the neighbourhood plan would be ESD1 and ESD2. Yeah. And you wanted to say, or oh, unless I missed it when you read it out, the, the front dormers out of keeping with right, the okay. I, yeah. I think is... Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I, I would be happy to go with express concern. I would not personally not vote for views, but it by voting is it not logical to start with the most severe, which is refuse and go down? I can take the vote whichever way you'd like, Roger. Shall I start with refuse or in favour of refuse? Okay, change to recommend refusal. Yeah, I'll start. Um, do we want to call this in? I think we should discuss it. Let's have a discussion. Would you like to call it in? Steve, we're not calling everything in. That's not how it was meant to work, rightly so. Uh, nor are we rationing it. In fact, we've got two already in this meeting. It doesn't mean we can't have another if, if you know, it's appropriate. Um, personally, I feel strongly on this one, and I will call it in for reasons we've discussed and it should go to the democratic the decision of the, the democratic elected councillors rather than left officers. Thank you. Um, any other comments from councillors? 
I would take a slightly different view, mm. the councillor. So I think it's the point. It's a fairly simple application in some ways. You know, you're looking at that. We flagged it to the planning officer. The the reasons are very clear. You know, are very clear. I don't. I don't think when you, when you actually look at it that road. You know, I drive up to Roundwoods. You know, pretty much every day. I, I think it's not as bad. As um, well, obviously, I was you know happy to vote to express concern rather than refuse. So I don't think it's as bad as perhaps as we've discussed it today. And I think the planning officer could make a balanced judgment. But um, I will put to a vote. We'll, we'll take whichever side has the majority. And um, all in favour of calling it in. In favour of not calling it in. Well, okay. I just thought I'd check if right someone not. was abstaining. <laughs> okay, so we have um, told you not to call this application in. I always check because I never cast my vote unless I have a casting. So I always like to just check the other side wasn't going to be one versus two. Um, five twenty twenty two one eight six nine. 51 Eastmore Park. I recognise this. We've had this before. Certainly had Eastmore Park a few times. Yes, so you probably read the words and to say permission was already granted on the site for a similar scheme. However, this proposal removes the front flat roof dormer element but does include an air source heat pump to be sited on the side elevation towards number 49 Eastmore Park for solar panels on the front roof slope. The proposal broadly looks to extend at ground floor level with a rear extension, which is 4.5 metres in depth and 7.5 metres in width, with a flat roof and two skylights. A two storey extension over the existing front gable section to the existing roof um, ridge height, which will provide an additional bedroom moved from the ground floor level. And dressing for an ensuite with a rear dormer window extended to um, enlarge the other existing first floor rooms. The garage, which appears to accommodate two cars, is lost and only what appears to be two off street parking space is provided on frontage. The property is to be limestone white rendered with the addition of metal and wood cladding across the skin. No tree rights and not conservation area. Acoustic levels for the air source heat pump at which the unit will operate to are detailed with the standard sound, sound mode as being at an acceptable level for domestic settings. There's an objection subject to no loss of immunity to number 49 Eastmore Park from the proposed air, hall, air source heat pump, policies 72 and 82 of the district plan. Thanks. Thank you, Heather. Any comments from the councillors on this one? That's the question. I'm not great for the flag, so I'm like rendering on metal cladding. Uh, especially if it's the only one in the road. Not conservation area, right? No. No, but no. Nothing sort of uniformity about the, the, the fact that. I mean, that essentially is a bit of an artist impression. The rear of the property to give you an idea. Well, then actually, that's the front. I won't comment on my opinion on the design style. Oh, that's okay. I don't personally see it as any worse than it is now. In fact, possibly a slight improvement. And there are many streets in the town where there's oddball buildings, some relatively modern, such as the one you just referred to in um, Farnsley. Oh, in my opinion on that one, I just prefer. There's one or two in Sunsea Avenue. And in Flatmore, it's great more No, no, except, well, I, yeah. I think if this is a conservation area, I might yeah. think differently, but I think to be consistent with, I don't know, lots of other decisions in the town. Personally, I don't have a problem with that. Well, I mean, I suppose what I've said, there, there are lots of non conservation areas in Harpenden which have got rendering or things like this that have been mapped. Yeah. 
it, all it takes is one industry to then create a pattern of it happening elsewhere and becoming the norm. It's, it's low density. It's only it's low density. It's only one story, effectively. It's about the I'm not too sure about this. But the lady brings it from us. The current house could do with something being done to it. Not that that's a fine reason to allow a different render, but my point is if it's not conservation. I mean, actually, I prefer like them than I do that. But it depends on its own, maybe. Yes, it's been a yeah. Yeah. True. Although that doesn't seem to be something that has concerned the planning officers around, you know, loads and loads of streets. Mm. No, but it doesn't mean you have to go on that. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> seems to be a lot of Maybe it's something to be introduced then to the next uh, conservation area extension. Yes. That's funny. It is in creating a double window or ground floor and first floor windows. Which is going against the rest of the funding street. I think they've got planning permission for that bit of it. Yes, yeah, so I mean, essentially, they have got planning permission already, but so this, this is for the this is a fresh bias of the cherry, as it were, but they're just excluding the front flat roof dormer window that they did have planning permission for. Um, come back for fresh with this. I don't know, did they? There's no mention of the rendering in it. No, but so there's no mention of the rendering in this application either. So, so it's something I've picked up from my observations. I think. Yeah, so I, I don't know. It could have been that I didn't study the previous application in detail. But there's no mention to say that we weren't keen on any rendering under the previous application. So. I mean, they'd, they'd be able to just paint their house white without applying for planning permission anyway. So. Yeah, because it's not sure. conservation. It's not so I, I think the rendering probably isn't a planning element, planning application element. It's just that they included yeah. it because it will be done at the same time. It's very much on the look, though, isn't it? It seems to be, yeah, especially along with this sort of cladding as well. Yes, yeah. in certain points throughout this game. Keeps people in clean houses and business. Um, as I think I will put this to a vote on no objection, see if it floats. All in favour? Okay. Okay, on to 52022 Sorry, I didn't Slow down the freezing Okay. It's just it's much easier rather than having the papers like you had in the last meeting from our town clerk. At seven magna close. Right, seven magna close. The property is sited on a small setback section off the main street with a detached double garage to the side. The proposal looks to carry out extensions in multiple locations at ground floor level, a small extension at the first floor, and the introduction of bedroom accommodation in the roof space. Extensions at ground floor include the demolition of the garage block, extensions to the main house over the footprint of the demolished garage, and extending almost to the boundary to provide a substantially more living accommodation. A small addition to the front living space and an extension to the porch. A modest extension over the new porch is proposed at first floor level. Roof ridge height is increasing by just over one metre, and a flat roof rear dormer is proposed to provide two bedrooms in the roof space, totaling five across the property. Off street parking provision for four cars is detailed, no true works and lots conservation area. So um, you can sort of see here in the, the picture of the main house and then to the side uh, two um, separate detached garage or two separate garages um, to the side you can see here. So they're getting rid of those. So they're getting rid of the garages of and parking on what is now grass. So it looks a bit tight. In that corner. Um, 
Unfortunately, I couldn't take my Google map any closer up um, to it. Actually, yeah, that's probably the best one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is a lot. It's kind of it's quite tight in that corner, isn't it? Mm. There is another property, I think, right further around to the left. I can go to the Google map. Okay. Um, what? It's around to the left. I'll, I'll do the Google maps to show you. I'm not actually convinced we could park four cars like no. that. No, and it looks to be like there's no defined border between That's how they light, is that? That's how they're trying to park them. Yeah. I'm not sure you can get the cars in. Yeah. Well, you'd be blocking that one car and blocking the yeah. 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 I mean, you probably have that problem already trying to get cars into the second garage. Yes, but you've got a whole area of parking around that corner. So if you if you look at it, right, George, if you wanted to, oh, yeah, okay, right, okay, you could just park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The drive out, you could have some I mean, some nemesis open to way. drive across someone else's. There's a ground and dip it onto the road. Currently, there's a ridge, I think. Yeah. So you'd need to flatten that. Huh? You'd need to flatten that. You'd need to have right of access, which I mean, we can't say they don't, but it seems unlikely you'd have right of access over someone else's driveway. Uh, no. In that context. That was their drive, sorry. Yeah, that's their drive. The point was being made that you'd need to drive over the other one probably to get one of the cars in. So, I mean, I see you could park one there. They've got quite. I'm going to drive them on. To the, um, yeah. the Google Street View now. So this is the house that's sort of to the side. So you can see this sort of raised section, which they're implying is where they're actually able to, if they're going to choose the park. Well, they're they parking can... here as well in this green bit in front of the window. On this, this bit here. So at... We're not at the site, so they're parking literally in front of that window. If you look at the mm. where they put the two cars, yeah, 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 they're getting yeah. two cars in dead on with the house, mm. another one next to it where that porch is, and another car around this way so it's facing down the current drive i mean they're parking three cars in front of that living room window if it is and with this close proximity to the neighbor it's not even defined where the boundary is but it has this does not look to me that there's space for three cars in that little area yeah well you know cars are quite large i mean it might be a deceptive map on the street view but let me go back here to the, the one showing the other house, which we can't see from the front view. Yeah. Uh, which one was it? That's the one. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's up bit close to that house. It's very tight, isn't it? And it's, yeah. Mm. And the development is around extensive that corner. around that corner. Yeah. And I suppose that house on the left doesn't look over. Uh, no, it's, uh, I'm more worried about just the parking and the manoeuvring and encroaching onto neighbours' territory. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'd have some concerns about how they're getting those three cars in. To be honest. Unless that picture is very distorted, which it could be. It doesn't look big enough to be able to turn cars. Just come out. I mean, the actual driveway is mm -hmm. is quite the where you actually drive on to their land is quite small. So, I mean, if, if you think at the end of the day, they're they're still accessing up the side here into yeah. their double garages as it is anyway. Yeah. But less that bit, I'm bothered by is more where you park in these three cars. I just can't see. And obviously one is going to be blocking it too anyway, so that's going to be... And also that's a tree, Jimmy, that's still there. Uh, 
Yeah, is this true? Because you can't figure out. I'm not sure, but it is still there anymore. Can't be. This is this right. picture that I'm looking at here is actually 12 years old, 13 years old. Not fair enough. I mean, it might be still there now, but it's not there in this in this application, I don't think. Yeah, but that was my point. Yeah. It is a tree that's there, but isn't, then that's a tree works. I think the tree's gone, like, already. No, I guess I would draw my comment about the tree. It's all very well. I mean, this image is, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's it probably blocks the right going into that house's image. Mm. I mean, personally, I think that's an overdevelopment. I mean, the plot is big enough to take that amount of house. It's just so where they put it feels like an overdevelopment. You tucked it around to the rear extension, aren't there? There'll be less bubble on it. Yeah, I think it makes them lose too much parking, which means it's all going to be squashed at the front, blocking yourself in very close to the neighbours. Okay, what would you like me to say? So I think we're worried about the, the potential that the, the development might be an overdevelopment on the plot um, with the location of the extension. Is it, would it, do we think that's a cramped because of the fact yeah. that it's all the way across? I think it's cramped. Yeah. Um, is cramped particularly in relation to a number? What, what number will it be on the left? Um, yeah. It will be, um, oh, this is one number, this is number five. seven. So, yeah, it will be number um, five. Yeah. So, um, yeah, in particular in relation to property number five. Um, and I think we have, I'll let you write that down. Yeah. Number five, yeah. Um, I think we also have concerns about the feasibility of the parking arrangement set out. Okay. Um, okay. Anyone else want to add any more? Any more? Um, I would be minded to go with the express concern. I'll put that to a vote. All in favour of express concern? Majority. Majority. Got a lot of majorities tonight, not a lot of you. Yeah, 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 on the basis of Councillor Butterworth's logic previously of going with the harshest first. Because <laughs> logically, you vote for express concern on the basis that you don't know whether you're going to get refused or not. Yeah, it, it, you've got to start at the top. Right. Well, I, I didn't, and we have a majority, so we'll go with express concern. Um, well, right, should I put refuse to a vote? All in favour of recommend refuse. I guess we should just in general do it the same way all the time, shouldn't we? I guess. Yeah. Well, you, usually I do what I think the majority is going with, and then if it isn't, we go with another approach. Um, but, you know, I can do whatever style the committee would like. Uh, we, because we've resolved express concern, we have to resolve whether we want to call it in. Does anyone think that we should call this in? No? Okay, in that so case, um, we'll no. take that without a, a vote, because that's what it is, a vote. Okay, call it in. 5-22-2037 and 2002 and 1-163, don't meet the criteria. Um, for Consideration. So on to gosh, busy Munchton Park Avenue. Uh, mm -hmm. Five twenty twenty two two zero four three twenty four Park Avenue South. Right, twenty four Park Avenue South. Um, this property is located in the conservation area. Um, sits on a spacious plot set back from the main street, seen with a detached garage to the front. The proposal ultimately pro uh, proposes to remove the existing roof and replace with with new, which is 1.5 um, metres higher than the existing, um, an extension of three metres depth to the rear of the property at ground floor to provide an open plan living space, introduction of conservation style windows in the roof to serve the roof accommodation, no placement of existing windows throughout. 
Aesthetically, the property does not differ much in style and form from the existing with just two roof lights visible from the front elevation. Factory survey concluded there was negligible evidence of bats roosting in the property with no further surveys recommended. No clear works were proposed and there was ample parking on the frontage and in the detached garage. Considered no objections subject to the appropriate design and use materials in the, in the conservation area policy 85 of the district plan plans. I mean, you're more than welcome to look at the, the plans, but there's not a lot to see, to be honest. Hmm? Okay, so the extension is essentially this little tiny element just at the rear there. And then this shows here how the roof form is changing. Not a lot. I think, you know, essentially from the, the street scene, only change realistically is okay, the shape of the roof form and to the up windows. Yeah, yeah and range. even then it's it's only very small what they're wanting to do. It's, it's V Lux windows, no dormers or anything else. That means a lot to object to. It's existing, it doesn't look the same as the 20 Pro. Better drivers and Google Maps, and then we'll be. It looks like it's been extended subsequent to that 20 Pro. It is. I mean, essentially, the pictures are there just to help sort of set the scene. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. We've got blood in here. Well, that's the picture that they said on their design and access statement. So I'd assume that that is still accurate. Yes. But I don't think it's a proposed demolition. Is this potentially in front of the main building line? Is. is that the detached garage? No, no. Um, I think it is actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But if you look at the side of the The garage is set further forward, so I'd imagine the garage is off to the left of this. That wasn't what I was referring to. You were referring to this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah which, is that, that. which is that. Which yeah, is that. Yeah, they've got a garage to the front. Just here. So as you're looking at oh, it, okay. and there's a window in the side of the garage. Oh, because as the door's on the side, not the front. Okay, yeah. well, I'm with you. Thank you. Because the elevation is flat, we don't have perspective. No. Okay. Look around for it, first of all. I guess I'd call someone. And there isn't actually, I don't yeah. think there's a door. Are they making any changes in the club floor? No, they're doing, there's a, the only thing that they're changing is in the loft space, which is just there. There's no changes to the first floor at all. Just a small extension of ground floor. I expect that's too hard. Let's double check for this. Well, there's about four holes in Park Avenue at the moment. So I know, I drove, four oh, holes. Yeah. I drove around there today. Yeah. Yeah. I did notice actually, interestingly, um, today that when I was looking at the application list for next time, that the application for in Park Avenue South, where they were doing the subdividing of the plot, yeah. that's refused. Excellent. Just, I didn't look into the reasons. It was just the the decision sheet. Holly Lodge. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. We used the. Of course, it's the plans north. Yeah, there were um, Parkland and Town Council's reasons for the huge basis for the mutual reason. Oh, okay. Lovely stuff. Okay. Oh, thanks to our colleagues at this. Okay. So, that's from the committee. Yeah. Yes. Council. 
Okay, so are we happy to go with the recommendation? All in favour? Yes, that's agreed. Lovely. Uh, and then five twenty twenty two one eight two three four a Hatch and Green Close. Uh, that's 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 right. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, should we not be referring to our favourite ESD one and two there as well as it? Have you tried it? No, I don't think we need to have a vote for that evidence. No, it's not changing the material. Yeah. Um, Action Green Close, which is the one I believe that we couldn't quite work out where it was because we didn't have the drawing. Correct. So it wasn't listed on the last agenda because of I have no drawings at the yeah. point in which the agenda was issued. Um, so I've brought it to this application just so that we can formalise what the committee's um, comments and you did so um it's essentially where x marks the spot uh the property is a detached bungalow set back from the main street scene and a small cul-de-sac with another similar size bungalow the proposal at ground floor is to extend rearwards over the footprint of the existing conservatory increase the size of the rear bedrooms and extend forwards by a short distance to enlarge the lounge First floor level, it is proposed to build over the existing ground floor gable roof element to the right with the introduction of two bedrooms and ensuite straight dressing room. The addition of two further bedrooms will total five across the property. Due to setback location of the property, these proposals do not appear to be detrimental to neighbouring properties or on the street scene. The attached garage is retained and further off street parking is available to the frontage. There is a tree to be removed, but two new trees in the rear garden are proposed. Property is in the conservation area. My said, no objection subject to the appropriate design and use of materials in the half of the conservation area. Policies 85 and 87 of the district plan and affairs. Have you have written objections? No. When I looked at this, well, I can check today, but when I looked last week before the agenda went out, because it was the last application, there was nothing. Just double check to be absolutely sure. That's quite good for the way, isn't it? It is. I mean, bearing in mind that this is an application that was on a list a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't anticipate anything fresh being added. There the, the, reason, the reason I ask is someone raised this with me and I just said, I'll look at my gunway in the it, but if you want to um, make representation of the way around it is to write. Right, you're correct, yeah. actually, Councillor Turnbull. Um, on Friday, actually, um, a third party objection has gone on. Ah. So, yeah, so but obviously the agenda went out on Wednesday last week, so this wasn't this yeah, week. Yeah. So, I'll just open it up now. So, um, this is what's number? So, these actually are so this the application site is 4A, and the people that are objecting are number four, which I'm assuming. Must be the other house in that little sort of cul de sac area. I don't think you are, but I think it's the right. Um, yes, no, you are right. Yeah, no, you are right. Okay, so we are in the process. I don't remember that application that I talked about. Okay, so did you, you looked at the Simmons objection already, or you're just reading that, it now? The, I've read it over your shoulder. Okay, that's okay. Um, so the objectors number four are saying we're in the process of building a chalet bungalow. And then they create the, the policy, but there's the sorry, the application reference. The main aspect of our new bill directly faces the proposed app planning application at 4A Hatch and Green Place for a part two-story rear and first floor side extension with a side dormer. We object from a privacy point of view to the front bedroom window of the part two-story of the proposed plan, which will overlook our lounge, dining room, and patio area, together with the loss of light creating overshadowing. We are in, in the conservation area, the main aspect of the street scene being that of well spaced out bungalows. Therefore, we seriously object to the development of a two story building close to our boundary. What I think they're doing, if I may, because this is they, they, these people in this building. This one here. Yeah, I've got this permission one. to not try to yeah. and build another building there already. A whole new building. Yeah, I think so. Just which, is, which is going to look onto this building. I've just asked Heather to pull up the um, where yeah, on okay. the plot that one is. Not very much space, you would think. They're not going to leave themselves any job, are they? Got a house on the right. Uh, well, the fence been put in. Mm -hmm. 
So the people who are having that's the bungalow built in their garden just to be neighbour. Because of the effect it will have on the house yeah. bungalow that they're building. Which faces directly onto that existing building. But why did it face onto that building rather than onto the road? Yeah, it's it's not not right right of access I'm 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 I don't know all the detail. I'm, I'm merely, uh, mm. I, I don't know, you know, I said, uh, if you want to take it forward, right, it right to the... It will seven years for the District Council's website to actually find this. Yeah. Right, so what I'll do is I'll screen share. Um, I've got my screen just here. As I said the other day when we looked at this, I said I thought that there had been a, one in that street similar. So this is the application site that we're looking at now, and then this mm. is the new build that they're putting in. Yeah. Um, so the development will impact on, 4A will impact on the development that they are doing within yeah. your garden. That's right. We've got permission for a whole new house there in the conservation area, right on the... I think we objected right on the roads with virtually no um, outside space. Mm -hmm. I think we objected to. I mean, they might think, well, hang on a sec, we've got a whole new massive house in the thing as now. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> it, it, I think that's it's a bungalow. To. It's a bungalow, so it wouldn't have a look. The new build is a bungalow. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, and I think what they were saying is, can I have a look at the. Yeah, I was just trying to sort of kind of visualise. They were complaining about sort of overlooking some side windows. There isn't a side window. But I, yeah. We didn't have it. Did we not? No. I don't remember it. It was obscure. Blurb. Yeah, but I mean, that's if you look then to see what that relates to, it's to a wardrobe or to the side. It's like a their wardrobe. Um, I think there is a window in the wardrobe. When, when did that permission anyway? go through? Any idea? 2020. Quite oh. some time ago. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't have been on that staff committee, so. I was, but I must confess, I, I thought we'd voted against, but obviously we didn't. Um, so there's a question about the window. There is actually a window in that wardrobe. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. They've got a window in their wardrobe. All the rest of them. I assume it's so a working wardrobe. That's, 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 that's six metres there, are they not? Six metres, uh, 20 feet. Yeah. But it's obscurely glazed according to the design. So I don't think the overlooking thing is that much of a problem. The only problem would be light. So I just want to go back to this. The lateral projection. Yeah. I just want to read their wording. So, the, uh, rejecting from privacy point of view of, to the front bedroom window of the part two story of the proposed plan, which will overlook our lounge, dining room, and patio area. It makes it sound like they're talking about their property that they live in. Rather than, are we sure about the, the front window? Wouldn't be unless. The, the only place the front window can overlook is Out the new one. The street, really. But it could have a side overlook, but it would be very... The main aspect of our new build space is the proposed planning application for it actually mm -hmm. the PDF. Yeah. They see the PDF. Yeah, um, yeah. 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 So that's quite... We're in a conservation area, and the main aspect of the street seem being that of well spaced out bungalows. Well, it used to be. <laughs> oh, used to be. Oh, <laughs> Apart from all the building. Yeah. <laughs> and there is further down the road, there is a two story. Yeah. Well, I, I, when it was raised with me, I, I, mean, I didn't. I, I happened to be part, going to the golf club, so I drove down the 
the clothes this night and turned and came back like, oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we have a look at the block plan again. So that front window, I'm I'm sorry, I don't agree that that front window will overlook. The yes, mm. block plan doesn't have on the what the new 4A is going to look like. No, but but thing. my point is unless they're rotating the house enormously, which I, I mean, didn't pick up from the plans. Well, no, they're not. They're, they're not rotating the house at all. They're just building over. They, they're building over sort of essentially this area here. Would you agree, Heather, as, as you always go? The front window is there. Yes. So, I mean, you'd need to be leaning out of it. Yes, it's, it's not even, there's no, not even a 45 and degree it angle. Overlooks it's this parking it. area. It depends, because obviously if you stand at your front window and look left, you would be looking down there, wouldn't you? But you have to be standing at right at the window looking rather than... When we speak of overlooking, we'd expect to be looking straight out of the window, mm. sort of, mm. as you would be expecting to be overlooking straight into. You don't crane around and... This is where the 45 degree angle comes in. Yeah, but the 45 degree angle is sort of kind of, well, is on the basis that if you're looking out the window at 45 degrees, I mean, at 45 I mean, degrees I... out there, you go over, well, actually into the direction of the parking bays. Yeah. P1 and P2. I mean, that's, that's more than 45 degrees. That's about... Yeah. And even then, it's it's a side... I mean, looking here, the only windows that we've got on that side are literally those two obscure glaze. Yeah. It's that so, one there, isn't it? I think there is a potential amenity problem with the over, with, not with the overlooking, sorry, with the light, which I'll give them. Um, and I would therefore add into our recommendation subject to no loss of amenity to neighbouring properties. I mean, I guess so. Parts of the light is, is because they've just built six metres from the boundary, yeah. area, which is relatively... It's relatively close. Yeah, and the point is, I, I, I'm giving. I think we need to put something in about the light because I think, I think we need to draw the planning officer's attention to the fact that if there is a light problem, then that could be a problem. But is this house even built yet? Did they said it's being uh, building site at the moment. I mean, I personally don't think there's a lot wrong with it, but. I would add in some language just to cover ourselves against. So we're saying no objection subject to, or we're saying yeah. express yeah. Well, in addition to the other subject twos that we've got, just add no loss of immunity to the neighbouring rock. Yeah, that was that's yeah. Just fine. lovely. Um, all in favour of that as a recommendation? Beautiful okay. start. Right, on to. Item nine, appeal decision land on bulk close. I can't remember off the top of my head what the decision was. The appeal was dismissed. Lovely. That's just for noting. Uh, preservation order tree works, which are just for noting. Conservation area tree works and technical applications, which are just for noting. The list of weekly St Albans District Council decisions, which are just for noting. The next meeting of this committee will be held on Tuesday, the 20th of September um, at 7.30 p.m. in this chamber. And I, that is a past meeting of Plans North. Which that, is a, that is a past meeting. Yeah. Um, the next meeting of the new St Albans District Planning Committee will happen at some point, and I'm sure that Councillor Eliza can um, direct us it's for that the at the appropriate new, juncture. It's the new um, merged version, isn't yeah. it, as well? Yeah. Yeah. Mega planning committee, yeah, um, as I shall call it. Three move cycle on the three move cycle, yes, it is on three move cycle. You're going to be busy. I was going to say, is it the uh, is it the six hour committee meeting every three weeks or ten hour committee meeting? Yeah, something like that. Oh, this is the new planning committee, so it's a district wide yeah. planning committee. How many people are on it? Ten. Um, we know it's from Hoffman, and, and there's just a Jason Cumming is on it, and so there is um, a number, and there are a number of substitutes. Uh, yeah. ah. I presume that's substitutes. So one person from Hoffman potentially on it. Um, you assume one of our lots on it. I don't know. Might yes. be Conservative as well. Well, that's right. They were trying to get it. So 
it's councillor for home orders is on the committee for yeah, a substitute. Yeah, okay, that's true, because yeah. yeah. of course it's not like it'll be all hot and then things discussed. No, 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 there are many few. There are many other in other um, equally important parts of the social interest which can can I suggest that, that, uh, that you circulate with the next agenda a list of who is on the committee? What, for, for the district council? Yeah, in particular for yeah. that'd be interesting, yeah. yeah. Um because I'll probably do that separately. I think well, it doesn't need to be circulated unless you would be it was Coles in Collins, but it's really yeah, I think I'll just circulate it separately right. from, yeah. from this. Just this so we all know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Um, I'll just do that. Unless there's anything else we'd like to discuss, I'll bring the meeting to a close at 9.26. Oh, right. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Still recording? We are, only a second. Give me a moment to just cut off things.